Hello and welcome to this quick launch single sign-on overview. This is Kyle Stevens, Lead Functional Consultant with Campus CAI. I'm going to take you through a few slides here on the quick launch platform. So first of all, what is quick launch single sign-on? Uh, basically, we do single sign-on through this platform and uh, single sign-out. So equally as important as getting you into each system is uh, effectively signing you out once you're done uh, doing whatever you need to do. Uh, how do we do that? We have over 500 single sign-on adapters uh, to various uh, learning management systems, ERP systems, mail, library, housing, uh, you know, anything related to higher education. Uh, you know, we've uh, basically done single sign-on adapters too. Uh, the solution is cloud-based, uh, can be distributed software as a service. Uh, we can also leverage password management, desktop single sign-on, and mobile single sign-on all from this unique platform. So who uses this? Uh, you can see a list of uh, some of the uh, Elucian uh, members that we uh, have who run Elucian as their ERP. Um, others include uh, you know, PeopleSoft, Genzabar, uh, other homegrown uh, systems as well, so we're not ERP specific. So here's a um, kind of an architecture diagram, pretty simple, of um, really the Quick Launch platform. So this would be Quick Launch standalone. Uh, we can deliver this uh, either as a standalone single sign-on environment. Uh, as I'll show you in just a moment, or we can include it inside a pre-existing portal platform to um, provide single sign-on inside your existing portal platform. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the um, standalone SSO portal. So here is the sign-in page for the standalone Quick Launch SSO uh, portal. So I'll go ahead and type in my credentials. And once I successfully log in, I'm taking, taken to this menu where I can access all of my single sign-ons. So whether I'm trying to get into, um, you know, PeopleSoft, I can get in with one click. Uh, maybe I'm trying to access my Moodle learning management system. I can do that with one click. Or even to my uh, ERP system to self-service. Again, I can access that with just one click. So again, the standalone. Uh, SSO platform uh, looks a little something like this. Again, can be restyled, but mainly presents the user with a list of single sign-on applications. And in just a moment, I'll be getting into the quick launch component that can be consumed within an existing portal platform. So as I mentioned, here's the architecture diagram for the quick launch solution that is inside of another portal solution. So here, we would have the quick launch component um, you know, still connecting to all of the uh, different systems for single sign-on, but really that uh, component is just being consumed or showed uh, inside of these other uh, portal platforms. So uh, next you'll see a live demonstration of one such instance. So here you can see my cast login page for my uh, pre-existing portal solution, right? And then as I sign in, I will see the quick launch component on the left side providing me single sign-on around the other content that would already exist within your portal system. So here you can see my quick launch and my favorite items, uh, my courses, different communities, uh, and my quick launch launch pad here as well. So this is providing me single sign-on into all these critical systems. This is looking at the different items inside the portal solution that I'm a part of, different clubs and organizations. Uh, this is tying in with the learning management system, showing the different courses that I'm enrolled in. And my favorites are for the uh, you know quick access to items that I would be leveraging on a regular basis within the portal. Uh, so again, you can notice the benefits of having the quick launch being consumed within a uh, pre-existing portal solution. It's not just providing a uh, single sign-on, but you're providing single sign-on along with targeted messaging, calendars, uh, message boards, all that other good stuff that uh, already exists within your portal solution. All right, so looking at it again, uh, we have over 500 single sign-on adapters to um, no, not only the systems that you see here on the screen, but also uh, you know many, many more. Um, in addition to that, we have extended uh, Quick Launch into uh, mobile uh, through our mobile app, uh, My Campus Mobile, uh, allowing you single sign-on access to you know the same items that you would have within the portal. And we have a password management suite where uh, we can set up a workflow when users first log in. They have to set their security questions, and then from there, they're able to you know reset their password. Or if they forget their password before logging in, you can go ahead and uh, you know type in your username, and it'll uh, present you with your challenge questions. Um, once you successfully answer your challenge questions, you're able to reset your password. 
Um, also, the ability for desktop single sign-on to be able to um, you know, use the uh, Active Directory uh, Windows authentication and um, you know, have that automatically sign you into uh, the portal. So once you've signed into your desktop machine, uh, opening up the browser and going to portal, you would already be authenticated. So we mentioned that this can be provided as a cloud-based software as a service uh, solution. So here's a picture of our uh, data center in Cleveland uh, showing our additional monitoring locations, data center locations, and some of our certifications and partnerships uh, that go along with the, um, the hosting uh, campus cloud. So thank you everyone. This has been Kyle Stevens, uh, Lead Functional Consultant for the Campus CI Consortium.